everyone's doing like a like, tight five at all yes. times and not even on camera even like the cast chairs oh, like yes. they're just like the banter like everyone's like yeah like trying out there it, it just feels like everyone's sort of like working on their stuff yeah like in a like way in we're the like, gym, like in the gym yeah <laughs> You both are phenomenal in this. I love After Party. I think I watched the whole thing in like 24 hours. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, After Party allows you to explore multiple genres and shift how you portray the character in each one. How do you change your approach in each episode while staying true to who the character is? I think the genres did a lot of the work for us, like just inhabiting that world. Um, And I think it's fun to think about all of the genres as like being told by unreliable narrators. You know, so like (laughs) everyone has like very, very subjective, very skewed, oftentimes not totally truthful versions of how things Mm -hmm. go down, which is kind of how real life works, too. So I think it was actually fun. Like like we were given permission by the world of After Party to like lean into like kind of being like, you know, over the top or like a version of ourselves that someone else sees or like, you know, an extreme that like... um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's just like there's so much elasticity and like what you could portray because it's like like Vivian keeps saying it didn't really matter what we did technically because there's no <laughs> continuity amongst like people's memories. Yeah. And so like how you behave in one person's memory is totally different in someone else's. And I think that actually makes it more fun because like it's very freeing for us as yeah. actors. And like reality is a subjective experience. Right. Well, well said. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. I don't know what you mean. I feel like everyone sees their life as a film noir or a period piece. That's total. <laughs> which genre was your favorite to play in? I did love my genre, which was the 80s uh, soap opera, because I just think being dramatic is like underestimated. <laughs> So that was good. And um, of course, I love um, Jane Austen genre, which um, was so um, extravagant. And there's this bigger than life elegance elegance about it, um, which easily could be my favorite. I love Jane Austen also. It's too good. (laughs) It's just like, it's so much of a fantasy. Um, But I, I also really loved like, um, John Cho's episode with, that was like very dance heavy um, like there's there's a good amount of dancing throughout but like that one was really fun we, we did like a lot of like choreography and like dance practice and I don't know it's just fun like I haven't danced in a really long time and so just like the euphoria of like being spun around or like it's just like joyful you really just feel like it was joyful like glee <laughs> And then can you talk to me a little bit about the improvisation on set? Because just it seems so cool, especially if the continuity isn't a thing between episodes. Well, for me, I um, uh, this is the first comedy and um, there are so many fabulous comedians on the set. And then they it was like seemingly a nonstop laugh factory. And then I was just there a having such a good time, like laugh and laugh and laugh. Um, So, and then all these great comedians would be like, they're just, you cannot stop. You cannot stop them, you know? And they're just so much improvisation, even after the scene is over. And then they, like, sometimes I would be like, what, it's not in the script. It's not in the sides. What, what, you know, (laughs) right? But it's, it's unbelievable. It's incredible, the set. Yeah, we. I mean, there's so many strong, like, people with, um, like, improv backgrounds, stand-up backgrounds, comedy backgrounds in the cast. So, like, yeah, and, like, everyone's so witty, too. Mm. Like, they would just, like, or, like, every take, like, whatever, like, the button was or the punchline, they'd, like, change the button each oh, time. Yes. Which, like, I, like, also, I was pregnant the entire time that we were filming, too. And so it, like, took literally every single ounce of my energy and concentration to just, like, kind of, like, physically be here and, like, do what's on the page. And so I was, like, to come up with additional lines and for them to be funny and to, like, add them every time. I was, like, I I just don't have enough brain cells for this. But I was, like, I really can feel, like, a fan admiring everyone else doing that and just, like, focusing all of my, like, my very scattered mommy brain cells to be like, (laughs) these are my lines. 
I am here, Grace. Wedding. Me too. I was I was pretty loyal to all my lines too, because I'm not a yeah I'm not a stand up comedian or any of that. So it for me it's like you know it's like whoa it's like an eye opening. Yeah, every, everyone's doing like, like a tight five at all yes. times, and not even on camera. Even like the cast chairs, oh, like. Yes. They're just like the banter, like everyone's like, yeah, like trying out their, it, it just feels like everyone's sort of like working on their stuff. Yeah. Like in a like way in we're the like, gym, like in the gym. <laughs> yeah. Like just like verbally sparring right. in a way where I was just like, wow. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk to me. You guys are fantastic. The second season is so much fun and I can't wait for more people to see it. And I'm hoping for a third season. Thank you Thank so much. You.